What's a CMA? Let's talk about that. Hi, my name is Tanya Bird and I'm with Keller Williams Realty Atlanta Partners in Peachtree City, Georgia. And today we're going to be talking about what a CMA is. So a CMA is a comparative marketing analysis. And this is what a real estate agent is going to provide to you, whether you're getting ready to list your home or whether or not you're getting ready to make an offer on a home in order to make sure you're pricing it right. So although a CMA is not something that a real estate agent can use as a appraisal, it is something that we can use to help determine what's happening in the market. And the way we do that is we take the house that is the subject property, whether it's the house that's getting ready to list or if it's the house we're getting ready to make an offer on, and we're gonna compare it to what happened in the market in the past. We generally like to look at what happened in the last three to six months, because what happened in the last three to six months is going to kind of tell us perhaps which direction we're gonna go. We may start off with looking at the bigger picture of what's happening in the market in a specific price range. So for example, since I'm from Peachtree City, I would be looking specifically on what's happening in all of Peachtree City for a specific price range. Are we in a seller's market? Are we in a buyer's market? Then I'm gonna get super small and specific and start looking at what's going on in that particular neighborhood. Now, if you're in an area where you're not in a neighborhood or if you can't find a comparable in the neighborhood, then, then I'm gonna go out a mile radius and look for houses that sold within a mile of that home. As I'm looking at what sold in either that radius or in the last six months in that neighborhood, then I'm also going to make sure that I am comparing one stories to one stories and two stories to two stories. Because you may not realize this, but it is much more expensive to build a one story home than it is a two story home. The reason behind that is that the slab or the foundation is larger on a one story home than a two story home, as well as the roof. And those things of course cost money when it's being built. So you can actually look at square footages between a one story and a two story. And for the most part, that one story price per square foot is always gonna be more expensive than the two story. So they don't make good comparables. So we're looking only at one stories versus one stories, two stories versus two stories. We're also making sure that the number of bedrooms and the square footage is relatively the same and then of course you can't forget the year built. We're trying to make sure we are staying within a range around the year built because we're looking for similarities. After we gather up all this information, we're then going to make adjustments to the comparables. We leave this, the, um, the subject property intact and we're going to make an adjustment to comparables. So for example, let's say we have a comparable that has a pool and our, our house that we're getting ready to put on the market or make an offer on it does not. We would have to adjust out that pool out of the comparable so we can see where it falls in line with the market and compares to your house without the pool. If our house had a basement but we couldn't find any other basements for sale in the area, then we're gonna have to determine what the value of that basement is and add it to the comparable so that we can then price the house properly. At any rate, once this CMA is done, we present this to our clients to, in order to help them make the best decision possible and help them interpret what's happening in the market. Now, if you need help in the greater Atlanta area, please reach out to me. If you need help with a real estate agent in your neck of the woods, be sure to reach out to me. I'll be glad to help you find some money in your neck of the woods. If you like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe so that that helps me with the YouTube and all that. I'd appreciate it and I will see you all next time. Bye!